Australia's biosecurity system plays a crucial role in maintaining market access for our livestock and plant industries. Farm biosecurity covers a range of practices that help to keep Australian livestock and crops free of diseases, pests and weeds. This short video provides a practical overview of measures you can use to incorporate biosecurity into your everyday production practices. Leaf material or fallen fruit can attract or harbour pests and diseases. Collect all plant waste that shows signs of pests or disease and dispose of it by deep burial or burning, well away from water sources, nursery and production areas. Cuttings or healthy waste plant material can be disposed of at a dedicated waste management facility or thoroughly composted. Effluent, waste and dead animals can harbour disease-causing organisms. Dispose of animal carcasses, effluent and waste as soon as practical at a site that can't be accessed by livestock or wild and feral animals. Prompt disposal will also limit the spread of disease-causing organisms and ensure you're adhering to government and industry requirements for carcass, effluent and waste management. I really like uh, our biosecurity practices because they fit in so well with our other management practices. For example, at the end of harvest and we need to mulch our leaves and plant material under the trees back into the ground, it's not only good for the nutrients in the soil, but it's also good for uh, removing those potential places where diseases and pests can develop. Contaminants can accumulate in animal feed and water troughs. So use a cleaning roster to make sure they're always clean. Where possible, keep the troughs high enough so they can't be contaminated by animal faeces. Poor feed storage may contaminate feed or reduce its usefulness. Wet, mouldy or old feed can harbour disease, organisms and pests that may be harmful to your livestock. To prevent problems, keep feed in a clean, dry storage area and regularly inspect suppliers for insects, pests, mould and damage to ensure they remain secured and fit for purpose. Clean up spilt feed promptly as it can be spread around the property by wind and birds. The management of water supplies is important for the maintenance of healthy plants and animals. If water sources become contaminated, they can spread pests throughout production areas. Prevent algal blooms by aerating or treating water that's high in nutrients and is stored in dams. Make sure livestock can't access wastewater. And if you use animal waste on paddocks, wait 21 days before grazing livestock on the pasture. Early detection of pests and diseases gives you the best chance of preventing them from establishing on your property and to limit any control costs. Early detection also increases the chances of eradicating a new pest or disease. Display posters showing pests and diseases common to your region to help with identification and so you'll know if you see something different. Regularly monitor your crops and livestock, recording both the presence and absence of pests or diseases. Increase the frequency of inspections during disease outbreaks, times of increased insect and wildlife activity or growing periods for weeds. When we bring any, any animals into the farm, uh, we are concerned that they don't bring any diseases with them, so we have a quarantine paddock very close to the front gate and that's where the animals go until we're quite happy that, there is, that they're not bringing any diseases or unexpected things in. Harvested crops and stored products, feed and equipment can carry, attract or harbour pests and diseases. It's a good idea to clean equipment before storage, remove loose soil and plant material from harvested crops and ensure storage facilities are secure. Your livestock can pick up pests and diseases if they're allowed to stray or mix with neighbouring stock. Ensure fences prevent livestock from straying on or off your property. Where possible, use double fencing to prevent direct contact with other animals. 
fenced off vegetation, planted as windbreaks or corridors, can also double as a buffer zone between properties. Inappropriate use of chemicals can cause insects to become resistant, making control difficult. This can cause widespread biosecurity problems. Be sure to follow the instructions on the label and observe withholding periods after treatments. Training in appropriate use of AgVet chemicals is also important. Some organisms that cause disease in animals can infect humans. Ensure all personnel working on farm are vaccinated for diseases such as Q fever and tetanus. Where necessary, vaccinate animals against diseases they can pass to humans, like Hendra and Leptospirosis. You are the most likely person to notice changes in the health of your crops and livestock, so use the simple biosecurity measures in this video to help secure your farm to secure your future. For more information, visit the Farm Biosecurity website at farmbiosecurity.com.au. If you see anything unusual on your property, call the Emergency Animal Disease Watch hotline on 1800 675 888 or the Exotic Plant Pest hotline on 1800 084 881.